Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and if you have subscribed to my channel you may have been seeing my posts this past week and you know that it's March Madness which is a celebration of the original mat work as done by Joseph Pilates in his book Return to Life and each day of the month of March has a specific exercise. So I've been uploading either photos or shorts of each exercise of the day but as I mentioned in my posts, I'm going to be doing a workout each week of all the mat exercises for that given week. So we'll end up with four small mat workouts. So today we're going to be working through the first nine exercises of the original mat work order. Now, if you're new to Pilates or you're just starting in a fitness routine, I would caution you on this workout because this is an advanced Pilates workout. Even with that in mind, if you have been doing Pilates for a little while, do take good care of yourself. If you come to an exercise that's not right for you, do a modification if you know one or just leave the exercise out. All right, so let's get started. A couple props that I have for today, just for my own specific body issues, is this yoga block that I'm holding because I have tight hamstrings. When I sit up tall with my legs out in front of me, I can't get my legs all the way straight. You'll even see when I sit on this block, I can't get my legs all the way straight, but at least I get my back up straight, and that's the most important thing. And then the other thing is I have a couple of small folded towels here just to go under my head as a small pillow. So you may need these props as well, or you may not. So we'll go ahead and start lying down. And our first exercise is the 100. All right, so legs out long in front of you, your arms are long by your side, shoulders up and back, feet are together and flex, looking at the ceiling. We're going to take a deep breath in to prepare. And on the exhale, start to lift your head up, look down at your feet, lift your feet up to your eye level and your arms above the level of your waist and start pumping your arms. Inhale for five counts and exhale for five counts. Pump your arms vigorously. And if the legs are a little too much at eye level, you can lift them higher, which might look like this. Or you could also leave your feet on the floor. We're about halfway there. Let's do four more breaths. And then lower your legs to the mat, lower your head down, reach your arms back between your eyes and ears for the roll up, flex your feet. And we lift the head up and round forward over the legs, reach. Roll your pelvis back, roll your spine down with control all the way down to your head. Check in with your lowest set of abdominals. Pull them in as you reach forward. Pull them in as you roll back and down. Let's do two more. All the way back and down. Okay. So the next exercise is the rollover. I'm going to take the towels out from under my head just so... When I'm rolling up and over with legs overhead, I'm not smashing my neck. If you do have neck issues, I would caution leave this exercise out. So knees into chest, lift the legs up and roll your pelvis, spine and legs over. Legs parallel to the floor, open, flex, push the legs away from you, slowly roll down. Close the legs at 45, roll over again. Keep trying to stretch your legs long, shoulders back. Okay, we're going to reverse, close, open, go over, up and away to roll down. Come down, lower one leg down to the mat. I'm going to grab my set of towels again. One leg's up in the air with the knee over your hip and single leg circles. We're going to go cross first, around and up five times. Try to really stabilize your opposite leg. And stretch your leg as straight as you can get your knee up over your hip. Maybe there's a little more and go reverse. Keep checking that deep scoop of your lower abs. 
Okay, we're going to scissor the legs to switch. And we go. Make sure every time you stop your circle at the top and reverse. Lower your straight leg down to the mat. We're going to go into rolling like a ball. Take a roll up. Sit a little forward towards your feet. Pick your legs up and draw your legs into you. And then try to lift your spine a little taller. Look at your toes and roll from your pelvis. Try to maintain your shape. Come up, hold your balance. Okay, I'm going to set my feet down, move back a little. And then I'm going to take this transition, drawing one knee into your chest, reach the other leg out, roll down just to the base of your shoulder blades, and this is single leg stretch. Switch your legs, give a firm pull, reach the other leg out long. Give a little check of your shoulders on your back. We'll do two more each leg. Gather both knees in, hold your ankles. This is the double leg stretch. Inhale, reach your arms and legs straight forward. See if you can get to that eye level. Exhale, pull your knees in. Keep trying to scoop in those lower abs. Not letting your pelvis follow your legs. We're going to do two more. And then rest the head down, stretch the legs out long, and we're going to take a roll up to come up to sit. Here's where the yoga block comes in, so I'm going to place the yoga block behind me. This is the spine stretch forward. So up on the block if you need to. So the most important thing is to get your low back curve to be inward and up and not slouched. Legs out wider than your mat and fingertips on the mat in front of you. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, slide your hands forward as you round over the mat as far as you can. Pull your abs in. Inhale, come back up tall. Exhale, forward. Try to empty your lungs. Inhale, come up taller than before. We'll do three more. And now we come to our exercise of the day, the open leg rocker. So the block goes away. And I'm going to take this off to the side. Okay. So if I was coming from the transition of not being on the yoga block, I would come halfway back, pick my legs up to my hands here, try to grab at your ankles, but if you need to grab lower, you can. Try to grow a little taller, even though you're still rotating your pelvis and drawing your legs up into you, and then roll back from here. Try to stay in your same shape. Legs about shoulder distance. And we'll do one more. Come up, close your legs together, set your feet down. Okay, so that's the first nine exercises. Join me next Saturday for the next week's exercises. Thanks for joining me today. Take care.